on the line. You might know him, probably you know him, as one of the most exciting players right now in California. He's designated hitter and a first baseman for the L.A. Angels, C.J. Crone on the C.J. Silas Show. This might be, besides C.J. Wilson, the only other time I've ever had a C.J. on my show. It's kind of crazy. I love it. (laughs) Yeah, it is. Welcome. And I know you were born in Fullerton, but you went to high school in Arizona. How long were you in California as a kid? Uh, Not long. Um, I think it was about five years, and my family decided to move to AZ to be for uh, my dad was doing spring training out there, so it made sense, and uh, she planned back then. So uh, I was that's I wasn't here long, but I have a lot of family out here still, so it's good. So getting drafted by the Angels and now being a member for your second season with the LA Angels, how important is that and cool to be around your family all the time? It's cool. I mean, I always I, I know last year. I was up and down a little bit, so I was actually living out of the hotel here and just being able to, to get a home-cooked meal uh, from my Aunt Carol and uh, doing some laundry at her place was always good. And um, So just, just having those, those little outlets, it made everything a lot smoother for sure. As a player, because we as media people and fans can appreciate two teams in the same city, as a player, how significant of a rivalry is there because you've got two teams, uh, the Angels and the Dodgers? Um, I mean, it, it's definitely a rivalry. Uh, I mean, the stadium was as loud as it's been all year the last last three games. Um, uh, our in division our in division rivalries, I think, are a little bit bigger, but um, it's definitely fun to see the the two fan bases clash. And uh, obviously, we want to win all the games, so it, it, it was definitely fun to play against them. CJ Crone on the CJ Silas show. For me, as a Dodger fan, truthfully, when the Angels came around, the rivalry with the team in San Francisco, and by the way, I don't even say that word on my show because it's kind of a cuss word. So the orange and black team is such a big rivalry for the Dodgers that the Angels aren't so bad, especially since they're in the American League and the Dodgers are in their National League. And I, but I think fans get really pumped up about it, just like, say, the Yankees and the Mets in New York. There's still something there. I was just curious what the players thought about it. Yeah, I mean, it's definitely it's a lot of fun. It's definitely a fun series. Um, I mean, every every game means a lot to us. And like I said, uh, to kind of watch the two fan bases our place kind of clash was pretty cool. Um, it was definitely the last it's been all year. And um, but yeah, it's uh, it's definitely it's definitely a rivalry. Um, and like I said, it was it was a fun series. You haven't spent a ton of time in the minors, and there are guys that play in college and then spend maybe four, five, six, eight, ten years in the minors, hoping to get to the bigs. So you didn't spend as much time as others do. But there is a big difference from a player's standpoint. Just talk a little bit about the difference when you played for the Salt Lake Bees as when you now play for the LA Angels. Uh, I mean, it's a huge difference. It's it's really uncomparable. Um, this is kind of what you dream as a little kid growing up, is you want to play in the big leagues. And being in AAA, you're you're one step there, but it's it's a pretty big step. So uh, finally getting that call, and uh, a little over a year and five months now. So just that transition has been really cool, and. Uh, it's been it's been a lot of fun. Um, it's definitely a grind down there. I think you have two off days a month at best. So you're playing baseball. You're doing what you what you love to do. And uh, when you get up here, it's kind of all the hard work paid off. And uh, you're just trying to keep getting better. You played for the San Luis Obispo Blues in 2009. Your coach at the time was Chal Fanning, and he left recently. He went to Austin P. But I don't know. I'm sure you know he's back. He's now the pitching coach for the Cal Poly Mustangs. How much contact do you have with not just Chow Fanning, but other coaches in your life? Uh, with Chow, not too much. Um, I mean, being in that kind of uh, summer ball, it's 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 pretty it's pretty quick. You're in and you're out uh, pretty fast within a month and a couple months or so. But uh, I mean, he was great. I, I remember I remember him helping me a lot. Um, I was actually a catcher back then, so uh, he helped me a lot with catching and uh, obviously hitting. But he was he was a great coach, and uh, I did hear about that that change so that's that's good for him what kind of relationships can you make in that short summer league season guys on the team players that you bump into later in your career whether in the majors or in the minors do you keep in touch with any of those guys yeah you keep in touch uh with with a few of them um it's uh, it's a lot of fun um i mean you seem like your your best friends when you face off with the guy you played for for a couple months but uh it's it's, it's kind of cool to to see those dudes when they when they get up here and um like I said, those those are definitely relationships that even though you might not talk every day, uh, you still remember like it was yesterday. So it's it's a lot of fun. C.J. Crone of the Angels joining us on the C.J. Silas Show. What about you for your own personal 
growth and career. How important was summer league for you? Uh, they're huge. I mean, they're they're it's good competition in that California league. So I remember that was after my freshman year of college. So um, getting that first collegiate experience uh, under my belt, and then quickly playing in that league, uh, it was definitely it was definitely tough, and it was a lot of fun. And um, those are the kind of seasons that you can you get a lot better from. So it was good. I hate to say it, but you're you're a lot younger than me. Let's be honest. In fact, I could probably be your mother, but. When I was a kid, younger, there was no wild card, right? So now, when you get down to the season where you're less than 30 games, around 20 games, and you you may not be fighting for your division, you're, you're still hanging on, but you still have a shot at wild card and getting into the playoffs. From a player standpoint, how important is it getting in as one of the division winners as opposed to being a wild card team? Does it matter much? Um, it matters a little bit. I mean, your goal going coming out of spring training is definitely to, to win the division. Um, but at the same time, I, I mean, if you look at last year, both wild cards team made the World Series. So it's definitely um, it's definitely doable. I mean, all you want to do now is have an opportunity to make the playoffs. And, uh, and, and once you're in, anything can happen. So that's kind of our mindset. Uh, whether I mean, we're still in, it, in the division. We still have plenty of games against both the teams. So we have a chance there. And uh, if not, we're, we're obviously trying to make the wild card and just really our main main focus right now is just to get in and then see what happens.